Well, my first impressions video is rendering right now. And for those of you that are easily annoyed by my video editing techniques, I'm sorry. That screen was way bad and overexposed. I think it's because I went out at dawn and this was too bright and the auto settings wasn't catching up. The later in the video, it got better. Anyway, I apologize. I'm not a pro here. I'm just trying to do the best I can without investing too much money in video equipment. Um, in any case, it's got about an hour and 45 minutes of render time. And in producing that video, I, I was in, pretty upset with the way it handled those turns. So I think I'm gonna do a dedicated turns video. Maybe it's not all on protected lefts, maybe it's a whole bunch of them, but I wanna explore this acceleration a little bit more. Um, so we'll maybe just get a bunch of different scenarios and tests. The weather uh, today is a little marginal. We've got a tropical storm coming, so I think the um, drone probably won't go up today. In any case, I've refilled my coffee and we'll shoot some more film here and let's see what we get here. The first one is going to try to do an unprotected left um, across the traffic. We'll see what it tries to do here. Got a car across the way it needs to wait for. It is waiting. Feels like it's going to the right. Okay, I'm just now in the view leaning forward. Okay, the B pillar is probably coming in view. There's one car. The right lane is open, but it's going right. Okay. And it rerouted around. Okay, so it aborted that one. Um, th that happened on the first video, so that's a repeat behavior, a little uncertainty, and it uh, disengaged. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, probably uh, do that intersection one more time, and then um, we'll go find another one. All right, take two of the intersection. Definitely projecting to the left, turn is to the left. Stop line. Checking for visibility, it needs to creep way out. I'm leaning way forward. Okay, it's got traffic. It looks like it sees it. It's acting like it sees it. Okay, it's clear after this third car. Okay, let, all right, it's going to the right again. And waiting for a reroute. Okay, uh, not gonna beat a dead horse there, so I'm gonna go ahead and disengage and go find another intersection. Second section, intersection. This one I'm a little higher so I can see down and can see the cross road a little bit better. I'm trying to create a scenario where perhaps the vision can see the other side of the road. Still trying to cross three lanes of traffic. The visibility to the left is better than that other intersection. I have much better visibility without leaning way forward. I do have a car behind me at the moment, so I need to tap the accelerator a little bit. That was a tap and it's waiting, it's waiting, it's waiting, it's waiting. Another tap of the accelerator. Okay, so I tapped the accelerator twice there to get it to go. Um, and there's that acceleration, that's the new behavior. Very rapid acceleration in the lane. Um, so that wasn't necessarily successful because I had to tease it to go. I wish that car behind me hadn't forced the scenario, but uh, I'll do that one again. Okay, take two of this intersection here. A little bit better visibility at this intersection, a little bit higher visibility. You can see the lines on the other side of the road. Okay, we've got three oncoming cars. There's one, two, and then three. We also have a car cross traffic. Okay, it's not creeping yet. It says checking for visibility. Okay, it needs to wait. There's a car coming. Okay, now there's a very nice gap on the left. It needs to go to the center median. Okay, there's it can go all the way. And it went for it. And a nice punch in that in that left lane. Okay, so that was a successful or uh, unprotected left with no traffic interactions. It waited for the gap on both directions to go for it. So that was good. I don't, so I don't know what it would have done had there been oncoming traffic um, that it needed to wait in, in the center median. Maybe I can get that uh, in one more scenario. I'll uh, throw one more in there. Okay, here's take three. Not sure what those tones were about at that moment. Um, 
Okay, it's got very good uh, clearance to the left if it continues and goes for it, and it's clear to the right also. It needs to go, it needs to go. Gosh, that was close on the left. Okay, uh, I didn't intervene that time. It did not punch it, but it did keep going. There were cars that were approaching at a pretty high speed, um, but it wasn't unsafe, but it was a little bit slower than I would have done. So I'm gonna call that one uh, two successfuls there in low traffic scenarios. Um, I, low traffic scenarios are not always great scenarios uh, to, to know how it's gonna find gaps, but at least it's completing the maneuver and um, completing the maneuver is important part here. Uh, let's try a different uh, scenario. Okay, this is a forward facing left. I've got facing traffic here and it needed to stop right away for those. It was trying to do a roller. I mean, I know I'm not quite at the line yet, but it wasn't even slowing down. So it needed to break there. I'm not sure if you can see the forward facing in the camera view or not. We have a little bit of a sprinkle here, but it was being a little too aggressive with that one. Let's set that one up again. Okay, we've got a little bit of forward facing traffic here with a large gap behind it. I got a little bit of rain now and there it kind of stopped and proceeded so that was a good one it saw the two cars it stopped and it followed the second car with a nice cross traffic so that was successful that first one where it tried to do the roller uh was it was an unexpected behavior i'll try to set that one up one more time so we got uh some good data points okay i think i've set it up where it might try a roller again and it needs to wait wait and it waited, boy, did you see that truck go around though? That truck was not comfortable. He went almost completely out of his lane for that behavior there. Now I'm in the lane, big gap and going. Um, we just need some work on these. Um, I'm gonna give that one a mark just because of that truck's behavior and it might, you might get to see it. It was the lunge up to the line that scared the truck. Um, kind of scared me a little bit too but I at least I felt it breaking that time so the forward facings are better than the unprotected lefts by far but the if it's going to try to do a roller it, it needs to have a really good hole to fit in uh to be successful that I've seen so far I'm going to try a, a different scenario okay here's a third unprotected left scenario got a little bit of signage on the other side of the road um has the trees to the left here. So I've got some trees that it's got to go forward up to look through. Um, right now I can't see because of some shrubs. I'm leaning forward and can see a, a few seconds ahead. It says checking for visibility. Okay, there's oncoming traffic it needs to wait for. It's a pretty good stack here. Interesting the vector is very short at this moment. It's not going left or right. That's good to know while it's checking for visibility Okay, I got one more car this car here, and then there's a nice gap uh, from the left Let's See where it's gonna go Wheels turning pretty hard It's clear to the left and It's bailing out to the right and it's going in the left middle lane. Okay, so it aborted. Um, kind of got to find its lane here. It found a lane. It rerouted, missed its first reroute. And now it's got a more complex reroute. Okay, so that was a failed attempt with a very large gap to go into the median. So it, it still doesn't understand that logic. It seems like it needs to have the left and the right clear to go all the way through uh, so far. I'll see if I can set that up again. Okay, I'm reset up at the same intersection. We'll see if we notice any similar behaviors. Okay, a little bit behind the stop line, creeping forward. It needs to go much further forward to see around some shrubbery. Okay, it's at a good spot to see probably about four seconds ahead. There's another car coming. And it's just now popping into view there. 
All right, a decent size gap now, but it's not really far enough forward to be sure. It's still creeping a smidge. Okay, now it needs to stop. It's got good visibility now. Um, still not seeing very far. There's a lot more cars that I can see that are coming. Now they're starting to fill in. To the right, there's okay visibility. I can definitely see there's a hill and a bridge right there. Um, I can see when it's clear pretty easily. So it, if it's waiting on both sides to be clear, okay, I do have a truck behind me. If it's gonna hesitate after this car, I'm gonna need to press the accelerator. Okay, I'm tapping the accelerator to commit. And it's in the median and it committed in the left lane. Okay, with that tap of me telling it when to cross, that behavior was pretty good. It did a nice job in that median uh, and then getting in the left lane and accelerating. So maybe we're just putting these pieces together as building blocks. That acceleration part is an important part. Learning how to go into a median at the right angle is difficult and it looked like it was doing it that time. Uh, I'd really like to hear some comments on, on that one. Um, if you guys noticed it, actually kind of getting the angle right for the median and then pursuing the left lane with some acceleration. Uh, that was good. I'm going to set up a different scenario now that we had a nice good one, uh, albeit I had to tap it. So it was not completely autonomous, but uh, once initiated, it did the maneuver with its own acceleration. I did not accelerate it through the intersection. Okay, I've got it entered here with a nice stop there, forward facing, nice gap, proceeded straight through. So it, it did stop for those first cars instead of doing a roller on that forward facing intersection, had a nice large gap and uh, followed through. So that was a good one with a, a nice easy gap. I, I like the way it stopped in the right spot, it waited and then it proceeded. That was a good, um, good example. Let's try that one again. Okay, here we are, take two. I was able to engage a little bit earlier here. You can see this is a forward facing turn here. We got some oncoming traffic. There's a small gap after this truck. It needs to proceed with a good punch. Punch it, punch it. Okay, it, it did that okay. Uh, I wanted a little bit more of a punch so that that other car knew what I was doing, um, but it wasn't unsafe. So that forward facing uh, has got two successes. Uh, the second one with a little bit more traffic to deal with. We'll give that one one more try. Okay, take three. The light just turned green down there. So we've got a good bit of traffic here. You can see in the forward facing camera, it's gonna need to wait on. Waited in a good spot there. My wheel is turned a little bit to the left needs to wait it's waiting it's not scaring me at, at this moment it's not too close at all that's a nice gap per, I could sit here all day long and I think the other cars would like that too all right we've got a small gap coming and if it does a good bit of acceleration that middle car it needs to wait okay now I'm in the lane it needs to go 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 all right that was successful but not human-like. Um, when I say that, it should not have gone into that first lane that it had the opportunity for, because if there was an oncoming car, it had nowhere to go. Uh, I let it go because there wasn't a car there, and I wanted to see how it's gonna accelerate in that oncoming gap. It went for the gap with enough acceleration, but the oncoming cars were probably like, what are you doing? In any case, it did it. I'm not gonna take it away from the car. Good car. It did it. Um, and that's probably a, a good scenario to end this on for uh, the second clip for today on beta 9.2. I think the acceleration behavior that we've seen so far in this build is definitely an extra tool uh, for the car to use in getting in these scenarios. I still feel like we got a little bit of work to do on the perception of gaps and then the appropriate acceleration to use in that gap. That one uh, behavior in the 
forward facing left turn, I'm sorry, in the unprotected left turn where it needed to go into the median, I think we started to see some behavior of not just going in at a 90 degree angle and getting itself in the right turn angle. I think some of that going right is, is in order to give it a little bit of a turn radius to get in a parallel configuration in the median. Um, so I think we're putting some building blocks together. Uh, it's exciting to uh, test it as we go. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hopefully this screen resolution came out a little bit better. Have a great day.